The summer travel season is here, and many of you will be headed to the beach over the next couple of months. However, with an above-average hurricane season in the forecast, how can you stay safe while also having fun? I spoke with hurricane expert Alex DeRosier about this. A first good step is tuning into things like this, understanding what kind of potential there is in the hurricane season, and knowing uh, times of the year like late August and September where we're more likely to get big storms if we're going to have big storms. But why is this hurricane season expected to be so active? The answer lies with the difference in El Nino and La Nina conditions. There's a few key things that lead us to believe that this is going to be a very active season. The first is the state of Enso, which is the El Nino Southern Oscillation, which Typically, you'll hear it from the public perspective of we're either in an El Nino, a La Nina, or between the two. But we are expecting a shift towards La Nina conditions as we reach the peak of hurricane season. Now, why does this matter? It matters because La Nina tends to enhance Atlantic hurricane activity through reduced vertical wind shear. Uh, But a really big driver in this year's hurricane forecast is the ocean state. Sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic are well above average. The warmth is at record levels in a lot of regions, which is beneficial to hurricanes that use warm ocean temperatures as fuel to form and intensify. While the exact location a hurricane will strike cannot be predicted months in advance, La Nina conditions do favor higher landfall probabilities. When you look to El Nino or La Nina years, in La Nina years, you get more hurricanes that make it further west into the Atlantic and closer to land masses. All hope is not lost, though. Despite the active forecast, there's no reason to cancel those vacation plans yet. Um, Now, it's important to remember, not everyone will be impacted, and the place that you've chosen for vacation may be just fine, even in a year that is a big year. Um, I don't think an active season is reason alone to really change your travel plans. However, you can take basic preventative measures like avoiding travel to hurricane-prone regions during the the true peak, like late August and early September. However, even if you have planned a trip at this time, just stay tuned to what is going on in the tropics around the time that you travel. And if your travel is impacted and you end up in the cone, please don't panic, but do pay attention to the guidance of the National Hurricane Center and local emergency managers for the area that you're in. Their job is to keep you safe. With 27 First News, I'm meteorologist Adam Clayton.